Cause there is also misery, it's no mystery And you and I, we got history, yeah What is up guys? It's a beautiful day in El Paso, Texas And I feel like I should be working on the 240 right now Just in a little break between unpacking So we're gonna try to deal with the uh, busted headlight Well not even busted motor might be blown out on the driver's side headlight so I'm gonna try to fix that right now let's get right into it gotta bring the uh, Civic over that way I can uh, get some charge in the battery again shoot So it looks like it's an issue with the placement, the placement of the light. As you can see, it's trying to go up. Let me check the other side. So I think I just found the issue. So I'm gonna go through and uh, put on this construction adhesive to the connection joint. So, as you can see, both the cars run, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but that was earlier, and the battery has kind of had time to either drain if there's a bad ground somewhere or something's going on. But the best way to tell is by trying to turn the car on. Fitment is kind of off. 
about that either. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, eventually I'll get an alternator uh, and then I'm probably going to try to go to a body shop see if they can fix the alignment on the driver's side headlight uh, just because that's kind of canted off a little bit. Uh, right now what I'm doing, the revs are kind of high, a little bit high, uh, so I'm just going to let the car warm up a little bit and then keep the revs right around 2.5 grand, uh, between 2.5 and, and 3 grand. That way the alternator can actually charge a little bit and there's not much pressure on the ECU right now. So. kind of annoying though. I'm just glad that the car's starting right now. Alright, so we have a final verdict after going through and checking all the grounding spots, checking all the wires. It's absolutely certain that's an issue with a faulty or a missing ground for the alternator itself. So that's not the easiest fix. And it's definitely not the cheapest fix. So that's going to have to wait a little while. Until then, I'll just be jumping the car and hoping that it runs well. Um, but, might as well just do a quick little recap of what we did in this video. Uh, so first off, what we did is I went through and I got the overspray off of the uh, back wheel, just because that can get pretty annoying. Got some of it off of the tire, but that's a little bit harder to do. Got rid of the paint from the windows, uh, just because that was starting to get a little bit annoying uh, as well. And then I fixed the headlight, kind of. I'm leaving the headlights up for right now just because it hasn't been 24 hours, and that's the cure time, and I don't want to risk uh, snapping off the headlight, but eventually I'm gonna have to get the fitment on the headlight adjusted. Uh, that way, the headlights can go up and down without any issues. <sighs> what else? Now I met this cool dude named Angel. He's really into cars as well. Uh, you can see him a little bit in the time lapse. Uh, additionally, I, uh, shoot, I can't even, oh, I moved the car just because, uh, didn't want it in that spot, but I can make it over those speed bumps, which I was slightly worried about. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's what we covered in the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, leave a like on the video. Uh, if you comment, I always try to do my best to respond to that as soon as possible. It gets a little hard sometimes, but I usually end up responding to all my comments. Uh, and then if you like the channel, like where the content is, like where the channel is going, don't forget to slap a like and uh, subscribe. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.